this is just to it's, it's robust like a lot of activities on this one that can actually get you to the bag and a lot of people are actually getting to the bag all you need to do all right hello guys and welcome or welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to talk about five side hustling ideas for women and uh this video is actually going to be amazing like we're going to discuss five online side hustling but before we move on to that guys i want you to understand that there are lots of options and i will keep bringing them to you guys but today i'm going to narrow this one down to women even a guy can actually do this one but i'm actually bringing this out basically for the ladies okay so this is totally for them and i actually have a favorite one number three is the real deal like number three is white and trust me without much stress you can get started with this one but for me it's my favorite so i don't really know if it's yours fine but for me you can the ladies out there it's a favorite one and wait till you hear that one it's real exciting move on to side hustling idea number one we have price arbitrage now i know a lot of you were thinking about price arbitrage now knowing what arbitrage is don't worry i'm not going to do textbook definition over here knowing what arbitrage means is simply taking advantage of prices right buying low and selling high now, when I talk about price arbitrage, that what I simply mean. What the now, ladies are actually using to get to the bag is simple. Now, luxury items like bags, Chanel bags, shoe bags, and different other type of luxury items, right? Are sold on some places like Poshmop, Depop, AliExpress, and some other places they're sold for cheaper prices. You can get those items at cheaper prices and then go over to places like um, Spotify, uh, fashion file the real real and sell them for amazing prices you can get an item for let's say a hundred dollars right a hundred dollars for around 50 or 30 dollars from a posh mob or deep up and you can go over to fashion file or spotify and you can sell that same item for a hundred dollar and you can make a very good amount of profit so that's price arbitrage and it's going on and a lot of people are actually using it to get to the bag like honestly i have someone who's actually doing that right buying from aliexpress and selling up on jumia and you can actually do the same as well well i mentioned places where luxury items are mostly sold and you can get that because there are lots of people out there there are lots of women out there that want to sell their items right and uh they have some other responsibility they want to actually cover up for and they have your item on push mob and depop i mean luxury items right there and you can buy from there and also go over to a fashion file spotify and sell stocks like that and still make profit that was the idea number two we have online consignment store now, setting up an online consignment store when you set up an online consignment store you have nothing to do with the inventories like you have uh, nothing you don't really need to hold those inventories just have someone holding on to the inventories you do the promotion and sales and you make profit it's simple you can go to any physical boutique gadget sales stores or any stores you can actually go there because firstly you really need to make go on with an agreement right with the owners of the place let them know that you have this audience and you're willing to share their product with this audience and uh, get enough sales from them yeah they'll have to agree because a lot of people, everybody out there selling something right want to make sales so if you go there with an offer of bringing sales to them definitely they're actually going to agree with you and you can actually take pictures and videos of those stuffs okay and also let them know that when you have um, a client right you want to sell to when you bring them there you should be the one to do all the marketing and all the sales to that person and then you're going to uh, send or give them the money and you're going to keep yours so all you do there is just selling at a at your own price right take for instance now the it's item currently sold for like um eleven hundred dollars right and uh, you have actually told the, the, the buyer for twelve or thirteen hundred, take them to the shop, do all the sales and marketing, then get your money and then take out the twelve hundred and give to the owners or the eleven hundred and give to the owners and you can keep your two hundred or a hundred dollars and it's a very nice profit. So if you know you have the right audience for a certain commodity as a lady, you know uh, you have people who wants to wear the latest bags and the latest shoes and all sorts of designers you can actually start up an online consignment and finally number three now i said this was a favorite because it's just to it's, it's robust like there are lots of activities on this one that can actually get you to the bag and a lot of people are actually getting to the bag all you need to do is simply set up either a child or a baby agency now how do you set up one now you can do this in several ways 
okay now you can decide to set up a place for children right where you can take care of children maybe you may not be the one doing it actually now you have people out there looking for work right you need to link them out together okay those women who want people to actually take care of the children but you don't necessarily need to be the one taking care of those children but it should be at your convenient place so you can actually uh look out for things okay because we're actually talking about children right here we're talking about babies so you really need to make sure that uh you have someone who is very careful and you are also careful and uh always watching out for those children as well so you can set up that and uh, you can take care of babies a lot of people a lot of parents are actually busy out there and they want someone who can actually take care of your children you can start that now you can also in the same niche you can also start up a baby store where you sell baby clothes baby foods which is very important baby toys and every single accessories for babies and you're actually selling them at a very good price now they will definitely reach out to you because most parents in fact every parent wants something good for their babies and i'm sure that definitely you're going to be getting a lot of sales once you're selling baby stuff now where can you sell this if you are onto baby books you can actually go yeah it's, a, it's something also good to try you can also sell baby books on amazon amazon kindreds allow you to sell babies books lots of places you can actually get free books right you can get free books you can call, change the back cover put up some story of your choice which you feel like it could actually sell you put that and you upload on your amazon TV. also you can also sell baby poems yeah you can sell baby poems you can go up uh, you can look for free books on baby uh on baby poetry you can get them and convert them to audios yeah you can do that and sell on a place on amazon called audibles a lot of people actually complain that getting kindle books from amazon and then uh converting it to audio and uh selling it on audibles actually has uh, some very tedious process because you, you're gonna have to request from the owner before he grants you permission to actually convert his book into audibles and sell but um i don't really think that's necessary you can actually come up with free books like on this me i'm saying on this me can actually give you free books now if you get free books converting them to audio and selling them up doesn't necessarily mean you need to take permission for that but if you are taking from amazon kindre and converting to uh, audibles then definitely you need to seek out permission and there are some criteria some things you really need to pass to get there so why don't you try places uh where you could get free books from try that and uh, also and then sell your free audibles on amazon acx which is the audible which is the audible part of amazon now you see this is a very robust and there's a wide income stream for you as a as creating a baby agency you can create a baby store for food, toys, and baby gadgets. You can also create a nursing home for children in your own house. You can create that and you're gonna get a lot of people because around you, you can check out the environment around you and if there are lots of babies, a lot of mother right there, you can actually do this and it will be real profitable for you. And next, you can also sell books, uh, baby books on Amazon Kindred and also baby uh, poems on Amazon Audibles. So you can see why it's my favorite now let's move on we still got uh, four and five to actually uh, go on with. now side hustling idea number four we have a wedding coordinator now you don't really need to look disappointed now being a wedding coordinator is totally different from being a wedding planner now a wedding planner has to take care of the bad dealer from when she said yes down to the wedding day but a wedding coordinator just take care of every single preparation the wedding planner has actually put together just at the day of the wedding and it's just for a couple of hours you just really need to come up there and check that every single thing that the wedding planner has actually arranged it's going well it's well coordinated and well done that's simply what it means to be a wedding card and trust me a lot of people are actually doing this and they're getting to the bag so if you wish to you can actually do this mostly on instagram and trust me a lot of people are actually reach out to you now that's side hustling idea number now four. side hustling idea number five which is the final one if it's not awesome then it's not me now side hustling idea number five we have setting up a cleaning agency now i know it's uh it may seem new to uh, most people but trust me this is what most ladies are actually using to get to the bag in fact not just ladies including the men everyone are doing this and you can also do this 
all you need to do is to set up a cleaning agency now you don't really need to do the work yeah there are works to do but you don't really need to do it now there are a lot of people out there looking for jobs right and there are also lots of people looking for people out there that could actually clean their house and do little chores at home but the link to reaching these people are not there now as you are trying to set up a cleaning agency all you need to do is to get those people who are in need of people to work for them and those people who are in need of jobs and you can actually link them being the middleman you can link them together as you have the agency you set it up you send out um you send your workers out to go work for people and at the end of the day you collect the money and you can keep your own dividends and you can give the workers their own dividends it's really exciting and trust me it's working for people it's really really working there are lots of people out there that could do any kind of work you want to give them any kind but they are not really in a position to actually get to those people who have those cleaning jobs for them to actually do you can be such link trust me you're sure to actually make it really well and if you try it trust me it's gonna work all right now those are the five side hustling idea i have for women in this 2023 yeah there are more videos to come and i still have more side hustling ideas you can think of now anything you're doing anything trust me there are options for you all you need to do is to let me know in the comment section what you feel and think it's best for you what you love doing the most let me use that what you feel like you love doing the most let me know in the comment section and trust me i'm going to think of something for you next okay so guys that's the five online side hustling ideas for women and until i see you guys in the next one